making chicken and dumplings on a Sunday evening. And this is a recipe that I tried to replicate from Poor Folks Restaurant. Yeah? What's Poor Folks Restaurant? Poor Folks was a little uh, country restaurant. It was at... Um, uh, at the corner of Gessner and the Katy Freeway. Mm -hmm. And when Laura was in kindergarten, I'd go pick her up from kindergarten on a cold, snowy day, and we'd go to poor folks, and we would share a bowl, a big bowl of chicken and dumplings. Mm -hmm. And then we'd go home and take a nap. <laughs> I mean, it was that good. It was just real good comfort food. Uh, I'm starting out with a little bit of oil, and uh, we're gonna put a little bit of butter. And How much is that? What, maybe half a tablespoon? Because we're going to put butter down in there, too. Okay. Um, butter. Let's see, left crust. Left Costco butter always have to readjust because they never wrap it where it's actually, you can see, the edge should be on that one, on that line right there, and it never is. Hey, Costco, get your butter straight. So now I can actually measure off one tablespoon. Because if I'd cut it like this, I would have gotten like half a tablespoon. Well, that would have been a tablespoon. Yeah. Catering for the home cook. Okay, so I think I've got a flame here. Yes. Yep. Oh, just my opinion here. Whenever you start a recipe with butter and olive oil, or any kind of oil, yeah. butter and oil, well, thumbs up. I mean, it's going to make plain. This is uh, celery, onion, carrots. carrots uh, How much of each? Just, it, well, okay, it, probably you see the tray that cup? it's on. Yeah, probably like a cup of each. Of each. Half a cup maybe. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And uh, we just put them in there. Um, we'll put a, we'll put garlic in there later. But this is this is what gives soup your. And really, if I had a leek, you know, leek is real good in a in a dish like this because it gives it such an aromatic. And this is what you do with your leftover vegetable tray from a party. Yeah, for, <laughs> yeah. Don't throw away the leftover vegetable trays. So we're just gonna turn up the heat on that and let it. A pinch of salt? Uh, yeah, we're going to you know, salt it down a little bit. A little pepper. For the sauteing veggies. Sauteing just till they start uh, kind of. We use to be aromatic. Mm hmm. These are considered aromatic vegetables. Kitchen all day long. Well, now that we're using the pressure cooker and using the oven and it smells like. from the Costco, so that is probably Two. about three to four cups of chicken. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Putting chicken broth. Now, I, I don't measure this, but wow, that's, that's, we want a lot of... Uh, that is probably a tablespoon and a half she just put in there, and now she... Wow, okay, I didn't know what you mean. <laughs> yeah, that's that's why I buy the large quantities, and we might... Oh, so we'll, that's why I go through it so fast. How much was it? That was That's probably, probably three tablespoons. Three tablespoons. But maybe even a quarter of a cup. And then let's put the, that water in there. We're going to bring it uh, to about maybe an inch over the hole. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Because we're going to add more water to it later. I'm going to give okay. you all that I have. Okay. <laughs> well, you always do. So, so that was about four cups of water maybe? <clears throat> Oh, we're good to go. Okay, Angela, you know how to put them. Oh, yeah. You have to line them up. And this thing should pop up pretty quickly. <laughs> See that open spot right there? I'm surprised it didn't pop up immediately. You in here? She's pouring this quick into a bowl. Now, here again, I'm just eyeballing it. I'm going to make a small quantity of dumplings, but um, just, you know, for us tonight. But this is how you make it. Bisquick is so That's versatile. That's a cup and a half? Maybe, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Let me just see oh my goodness. Oh, does that smell good? So that's just, this is the one mystery ingredient we don't know what it is. So yeah. you can use poultry seasoning. Well, sometimes. poultry seasoning, you can see there's rosemary and there's sage in there. All, I mean, the sage is... Yeah, they sold that to me as poultry seasoning. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's, and then I need your parsley, your dry parsley that you've got, please. Yeah, perfect. How much is three fingers full? Oh, probably a teaspoon. Nah, it's more like a tablespoon. Okay, wow. a tablespoon of parsley. So this this is, is a Bisquick... 
poultry seasoning, and parsley. And now we're gonna just make a, a pliable dough. So a third I'm, of a cup. I don't know, maybe two tablespoons. I just I'm just looking to make it total. Total. Or, yeah. Okay, so, so she takes it out. So yeah. you're doing, you're just doing like your the, pizza just dough like, recipe. Yeah, just like the pizza dough. Cause, okay, uh, you know, we can pull from that. And yeah, from that. so uh, just so it's easy to, to roll out. It's a little bit too wet, so I have to do this. So you adjust the mixture. Maybe Andrew can explain it. So we're adjusting the mixture, wet to dry, just to kind of yeah. So it's pliable. You don't want it pliable. mushy. You don't want it too dry. And you soak up all the ingredients out of the bowl. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I don't have a wooden. Well, I might have like the old-fashioned wooden ones. What's that? Do you need a rolling pin? You said you usually no. roll it. Okay, you're just gonna press I'm it. I'm just gonna try to. What I do need is a plate with some wax paper on it, though. I want to set these dumplings and let them kind of dry out a little bit while they're while they're waiting to be cut. And then I want a cookie cutter about that size, or maybe a little bit bigger, okay. almost like a canopy cutter. Yeah, it's a two-inch or inch and a half cookie cutter. Okay, so. You just dust the do. tip. Mm-hmm. And bring me my plate. Your plate. We have a plate here. And we're going to just let them sit there and let them... And they'll dry a little bit. And that's what I do is just hear the pressure cooker. That's such a comforting sound. Um, so finally, um, we uh, we had an opening here. Now you see it's filled in. Yep. Which means this thing, you know, if this is called your pep cup, and it will start like kind of moving. If it starts moving around too much, you need to like reduce your heat. You don't want it. It's got to let off a little bit of steam, or the pot would act itself. Did you grab me over and it? So what do we do? Turn it off, it off. Like the book that came with it, it's like don't do a quick pull on this. Yeah, well, what do they know? Just set it in the sink. You can. Oh, it covers more surface area. Yeah. And how about how long do you do that? Until the whole thing falls? No. Oh, oh step back. That's that I would do. This, this is what I do. She's letting the steam out. No, she's using the wood really steam. But like my face is like <laughs> I know. That's what I said, you want me to do it? Yeah, it's already it's down. down. Too too little, this thing down. Okay. Yeah. When that thing pops down. Away from you. Yes. You never want to open it towards you. <laughs> okay. So Don't this is our the thing. It's alright. Oh. This is our chicken. It's already cooked. Now we may have to cut up some more um, veggies. Veggies just I do. Have, well, they're roasted veggies, so that wouldn't work. Oh. Let me taste it first. Oh, it's perfect. Might need a little pepper. We're gonna get it simmering, and when it's simmering, we'll put the. That's We're just how, waiting for this to come to a simmer. We're waiting, you know how a watch pot never boils. Right. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. A dumpling, and I'm gonna drop a dumpling in there vertically. Okay. Okay. It's going to not sink. Okay. And it's gonna put another one in there. I get these. Are, no, I think they're gonna. I think they float. They float, and then they just. Essentially, your kettle becomes your oven. So they're gonna have to simmer like this for about 12 minutes, which is what biscuits usually take. But they they rise up real fluffy, 
I mean, it's just like having little miniature biscuits. And see, this is what I mean. You don't want to crowd your pot and pile them one on top of the mm -hmm. other. It's okay if they're all... Do you ever turn them? Do you flip them? No, to... no. So just... when you make more biscuits than your pot can handle, what do you do with remaining biscuits? Well, I, I, used, I used to just refrigerate them because the drier they are, the more they'll... I like them dried out, you know, when, mm -hmm. when I put them in there. Cause... So, but I save them for another... Mm -hmm. So we're going to just uh, see how nice it's simmering like that. Mm -hmm. So we're going to just put it in the lid, the lid and just let it go for about, about 12 minutes. And the way you do that, you take one out and you cut through it. And it's not supposed to be doughy. It's, it's supposed to be like a moist biscuit. Okay. So, See how they, they, they feel mm -hmm. kind of... So let's take out one. See how it looks. Let's take out this one. Maybe about two minutes more. Mm-hmm. One taste? Yeah. <clears throat> About two. Yeah, that's almost done. It tastes like a biscuit. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could cut it in half, put butter on it. Okay, let's try one. Uh, this is the dumpling that we made here, so we're going to do a taste test. Mmm. <laughs> it sticks to your teeth. <laughs> it just, it was one of those ones that just, you need a big glass of milk or something just to wash it down. It simmer for what, a little bit longer. How much? About five minutes. Five minutes longer. Okay. So it went a whole make twelve and five seventeen minutes. 17. So, you know, you you time it however much a, like a biscuit. You time a biscuit <clears throat> when you bake it. It's about seventeen or eighteen. And those are the leftover uncooked dumplings. So, you know, you can take these out and set them aside and. Finish cooking those. Would you, you bring like. it in the same pot, bring it up yeah. to simmer? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, good. Because that's, you want a little dumpling with each bite. Got some carrot here. <laughs> Melts in your mouth. Delicious. Delicious. So I've got chicken. Let's see here, I got chicken, carrot, vegetables, a little bit of dumpling on that. Let's see. It's hot. You can see the steam. Mm. Yeah, that's really good. All right, as always, if you want the recipe to chicken dumplings that we made tonight, you can check out the comments below. And you could also subscribe because we're going to do more recipes. Again, the holidays are coming up. <clears throat> do more cooking, things like that. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs> it makes so much noise. It's like you're just angry when I use it.